Hi, everybody. My name is Alyssa, and this is your Venus in Scorpio. If your Venus is in Scorpio, everybody's going to like you. You don't even have a chance. And it's true. People want you. And they don't just want you. They might want to have sexual relations with you. And when I say might, I mean yes, they do. I wanted to have sexual relations so bad with the Venus and Scorpio, I messed up. I got myself pregnant. Woo! Yeah. This is from Venus and Scorpio. The one time that we banged in order to get this child was awesome. <laughs> no big deal, guys. On another note, this is the reason why Venus and Scorpio is so attractive. Venus is the planet of love, and Scorpio is sex, regeneration, death, life, beauty, obsession. When you have your planet of love all up in there, you just radiate sexual heat, and you can make people obsessed with you. So much so that I know a few Venus and Scorpios that have people that they have dated still obsessed with them. People that don't know them obsessed with them. You might have people believing that there's some sort of chance between you because you radiate so much sexual heat that they just are like, they pick up on it and they're like, I need this. This is for me, right? You're radiating this for me. I mean... I couldn't be delusional about that, right? They radiate it for everybody. If you're Venus and Scorpio, everybody's gonna kinda want a piece of that and they don't know why. Oh, there's also, with having your Venus and Scorpio, you can obsess over the wrong people. I'm not saying you are obsessive, because if I were to tell that to even the people that I think that are obsessive, they'd get mad at me. So I understand, you don't like that word. They don't want to have that pain that comes from attaching themselves to someone who doesn't want it from them. And so they're very careful and they're very slow to love. If you don't tell them that you love the Venus and Scorpio first, most Venus and Scorpios are not going to tell you that they love you. They need that stability and they need that support from you first before they give it to you because once they give you their love they give you their all now a venus in scorpio is not just sex 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 all the time a venus in scorpio is i need to have sex with somebody that's important to me because i want to give them my all and i want to connect with them sexually on a very deep profound level their sex means so much more than somebody else's sexual desire because their relationships, their planet of love, the romantic part of their body is attached to a very sexual sign. And so it, it merges together. And this makes it incredibly difficult to, after a Venus in Scorpio has sex with someone, to rip themselves apart from the relationship aspect. And you can get mad at me for this and be like, I can have sex with whoever I want and I have Venus and Scorpio and it doesn't affect me. Just the fact that you would get mad at this and not just kind of take it for what I'm saying means that you probably can't handle it. I'm not saying I can handle it. I'm not saying anyone can handle it. I'm saying that for a Venus and Scorpio, the best sex that you will get is from a committed relationship with somebody who loves you somebody who gives a fuck about you if somebody's just doing it because you're like oh yes do it no strings attached you will get burned and you will do whatever in your power then to burn that person who may or may not deserve it as a venus and scorpio you really have to look in yourself if you're going to be in that kind of relationship with people if you're in that point of your life where i just want to sleep around and mess around and have like a really good time you need to really check yourself and be like, am I really okay with this? It's hard to kind of look inside yourself and be like, you know what, I can't do what everybody else does. I can't sleep around. And now say you're in a committed relationship. You want to be solely, deeply connected to somebody. You want that to become one feeling. You don't always share 
all of that with people. And um, depending on where someone else's Venus is, they can get pretty upset with the fact that you are silent as shit when it comes to relationships. You can probably sit there with somebody on the couch because you've been in a relationship for three years and you can just talk about whatever you want to talk about and then they'll bring up something like, So why do you feel the need to criticize the way that I cooked food today? It really hurt. And they'll sit there and they'll just be like, I don't want to talk about that. I just don't. This is too much. And it's because when you're in a relationship and you're talking about your relationship issues, all of a sudden you're not just having a conversation. You are reaching into the depths of that Venus and Scorpio soul and you are asking them to pull out something that is just so deeply entwined in their being. You're asking them to dissect themselves. And you don't realize it because you're just like, meow, talking to them about something. And I don't even know if Venus and Scorpios all realize. But if there's something to do with love, relationship, family, whatever, that part of them is so deep. They can't just have a fucking normal conversation about it. They need to be prepared for it. What they feel they need is it for not to ever be brought up because it hurts. And when it hurts, it floods them. They want peace and happiness in their relationships because it does affect them so deeply. So now the Venus and Scorpio, they should be the best lovers because Scorpio is the best lover. When a Scorpio is completely in love with somebody, they want to please them in every way that they can on a deep, connected part of their being. And for them, sex is a great way to do that. If they can please that person sexually better than anybody else can or ever has, <laughs> They've done their part as a lover. They're very committed partners. And they they like to own their partner. And not in an owning way. Whenever I bring up to my husband, I'm like, you like to own me. He gets kind of mad. <laughs> but this is a way that they might make you feel. If you're dating a Venus and Scorpio, you will start to feel that they own you that you are theirs. And so if you like that feeling, <laughs> you should be with one. If you don't like that feeling, you shouldn't. That should be something that you think about internally before you try to go date one just because they're so fucking sexual and so hot and engaging and wonderful. The, the Venus in Scorpio wants to be completely honest about love without ever having to talk about it and so they want good relationships and in order to get a good relationship a lot of them have very bad relationships first they make very bad decisions when it comes to sex and when it comes to love the venus and scorpio will look for people who are very who seem very laid back different cool exciting somebody that isn't is going to be more carefree and not be all up in their business all the time that's what they want. And that's your Venus and Scorpio.